The Western Ghats are the mountainous, faulted and eroded edge of the Deccan Plateau. Geological evidence indicates that they were formed during the breakup of the supercontinent of Gondwana. After the breakup, the Deccan Plateau was formed by basalt rocks which caused western side to rise at an elevation. Geophysical evidence indicates that the mountains came along the west coast of India somewhere in the late Jurassic and early Cretaceous periods when India separated from the African continent. Several falls triggered the formation of the Western Ghats, then interspersed with valleys and river gorges. Because of the elevation of the Deccan Plateau on the west, most rivers from west, uh, from west to east, resulting in chiseled eastern slopes and steeper western slopes facing the sea. The Western Ghats extends from the Satpura range south of the Tapti river in the north and runs approximately 1600 km to the southern tip of Indian peninsula where it ends at the Maruntavar Malay at Swami Top in Kanyakumari district. It covers an area of 1,60,000 km square, transversing across the Indian states of Gujarat, Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. The Western Ghats form an almost continuous chain of mountains, running parallel to the western coast of India along the Arabian Sea. The average elevation is around 1200 meters. There are three gaps in the west mountain range. The northernmost Goa gap formed 65 to 80 million years ago. The oldest widest Palghat gap formed 500 million. And the southernmost narrowest Shenkorta gap. The narrow coastal strip between coastal plain between the Western Ghats and the Arabian Sea is known as Western Coastal Plains. The mountains can be roughly divided into three parts. The northern section with an elevation ranging 900 to 1500 meters. The middle section starting from the south of Goa with lower elevation in the less than 900 meters and the southern section where the altitude rises again. The western guards meet the eastern guards at Nilgiris before continuing south. The western guards have many peaks that rise above 2000 meters with Anamudi being the highest peak. The western guards form one of the major watersheds of India feeding many perennial rivers. These major river systems drain almost 40,000 of the land area of the country. The major river systems originating in the Western Ghats are Godavari, Kaveri and Krishna. Most rivers flow eastwards towards the way of Bengal and owing to the steeper gradient moving from east to west and many smaller streams stray and drain in the region, often carrying a large volume of water during the monsoon months. The streams and the rivers give rise to the numerous waterfalls in the region. The rivers have been dammed for hydroelectric and irrigation purposes with major reservoirs spread across the region.